The Australian Maltese Chamber of Commerce welcomes new members. For more details, visit their website, amcc.org.au. Maltese food is very popular here in Australia and Maltese food has been very popular in our segments and today we are with um, Doris Delia. we are actually in her kitchen. Um, Doris, thank you so much for your time You're today. Welcome. So what are we cooking today? We're going to make um, ricotta pie okay. and I'm going to uh, make the pastry the way that my mother taught me Right. Um, and she's also taught um, the children to do it, my, my daughter-in-law, my son, and even my granddaughter. <laughs> so tell us more about your mum. So this is your mum's recipe. Where did yeah. she come from in Malta? Uh, she was born in Mostar uh -huh. um, and lived there up until she was about 23 and then migrated to Australia. And um, my dad uh, was, bo was born in Paola in Rajdeep. He actually didn't meet mum in Malta. <laughs> he migrated uh, much earlier. The two of them met in Australia. And, mm, and voila. Well, not Did long it... <laughs> after that, they were married. And I was, I think I came around nine months later. So, so yeah. even the, though you were born here, you always kept that uh, Maltese traditional sort of um, cuisine. Yes, yes. We, you know, Arjun il Forn, Tumpana, ricotta pie. Uh, torta tapazelli, uh, stufat, uh, all the things that you know we do. You actually mentioned torta tapazelli. Yeah. Now many people might not know, but Doris is actually Shane Delia's mum, Shane Delia of the Maha fame and also ATV personality nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I know that that recipe, the torta tapazelli, features in, in his yeah, book, in one does. of his books. Yeah, and mum my mum showed him how to do it and she's actually in the book. There you go. <laughs> yes. So tell us more about um, the, the ingredients for this okay. recipe. So the pastry is pretty simple. Um, it's just uh, flour, salt, butter and water um, which you knead up and then roll out. So you're actually the way you're kneading it is um, pushing with yep. the back of your hand yep. and just working it and around. Just working it around. How would you know whether it's too soft or not? Um, if it's sticking like to sticking to your you know your hand, then you need it's too wet. But this is this is not sticking to mm -hmm. me. Um, I just need to cut it in half so that I can work a bottom of the pie and uh -huh. then the top of the pie. Okay. Now show us the middle. That looks beautiful. So just leave it aside. Now we're going to. Do you cool it down in the fridge or no. let it stay no. on the side for Look, a while? Um, I, have, I have let, once I've had the butter in and moved it, I've let it sit for a few hours and I have done it the next day and I have been in a hurry and I've done it straight away as we're doing today and it cooks just as well there was either no side. I didn't, I didn't see any difference, mm -hmm. so, um, but you can prepare it earlier if you're in a hurry. Okay. So right, let's just get this going. So variations of this pie would be um, uh, torta tal piselli, yeah. um, bullo beef maybe? Yes, yeah, yeah. Tumpana. When you do oh, the tumpana, yes, you can yeah. use this pastry for tumpana. Yes. But I suppose any anything that's, you know, that you eat as a as a stew or you could put in a pie. Yes. Now when we're making the filling uh, of, of this ricotta pie, I'm going to use um, parsley and mix it in with the yes. ricotta. Now the trick is it has to be um, uh, fairly thin. Quite thin. Yeah. Mum always says to me, don't make it too thick when you're doing it the first time because you want a lot of um, butter. You want it when you're folding it, when you're rolling it. If it's thinner, there's more butter in there. Spread it around evenly. So now it's just so a matter just roll of up. rolling it up. And as you're rolling it, of course, you're rolling the butter in there as well. And just sort of stretch it along as you're going. So is it butter or margarine? This is butter. Butter. Um, you probably could use margarine, but you know, there's nothing, nothing better than butter. There's no big difference, is there? I, th I think it. I think it does make a difference when when it, you're cooking the pastry. Okay. There you go. So, just stretch it all out. 
and then just turn it around this way like this and a spiral and a bit of a sort of like it's a snail uh-huh babushu yes <laughs> <laughs> and yeah and that's one and that's one done mm -hmm. so we'll get that sitting we'll do it again with the the bot um the top part yes and then we'll do the finial, filling after that fantastic so we need um ricotta i've got about a kilo of ricotta mm -hmm. here but then of course it depends on the size of the pie that you're going to make right. okay so ricotta um, again some salt generous pinch of salt <laughs> with a kilo of ricotta you can put peas in the filling with the ricotta um, but i've got a whole lot of a backyard full of parsley so i so thought i'd use the parsley, parsley which yep. is also um, used and eggs so firstly i might just give it a bit of a a squash okay so so you don't whisk the eggs no straight no, in oh straight in okay so what we're doing you mashed the eggs with the ricotta yeah, and, and as you now see you didn't really need to um to whisk it, it mm -hmm. it's yeah. it's beautiful and fresh ricotta so it, it mixed in really well and that was just two eggs three i had oh, three, three eggs. in that and you can just put as much parsley mm -hmm. as you like and then just some pepper so now we've done the filling and we've got the pastry mm -hmm. now look at this this is so typical Maltese oh, that is my mum's <laughs> that's my mum she's she's allowing me to use it today right, so you've got a special, so I've got a special, um, special dish. permission and let me tell you they the pies always taste a hundred percent better yeah. when they're cooked in there so yeah we just need to um to grease it with the butter so just Give it a, just another little bit of a knead. Does it need to be really thin this time round? Um, not as thin as when you're um, applying the, mm. the lard or the butter. And if you can see the different layers in the pastry as yeah, I'm rolling it, see, see it, them, yeah. that's, and that's why when it's cooking, it'll flake up mm. and it'll be really crunchy. Okay, so, so that's the pastry. Mm -hmm. And I'm just to pick it up. I wouldn't um, put this pastry in a ceramic pie dish. Why not? It doesn't. Um, it doesn't work as well. Okay. So um, um, a metal pie dish is much better. So now we just need to get the filling. And because you've got eggs in there too, it's going to. Um, it's going to uh, rise. Doris, the pie looks magnificent. Yep. It smells pretty good too, doesn't it? As you can see, it's, um, it's all nice and golden. It took about an hour, maybe a little bit longer, but the oven was very hot to begin with, and that's the secret. And if you can hear, it's going to be nice and crunchy. And here it is. So this is the finished product, ricotta cheese pie. U bdik it-torta tal-rikotta li zgur naħseb li fetħi til-kom l-abti tiġejna fit min program juħorta Maltese Down Under. Jek tiġtu qtibatu kommenti u suġġerimenti għamlu dan permet tal-email ta'na Maltese TV at gmail.com jew inkalla fuq il-pagna ta'na fuq Facebook Maltese Down Under. Jina marlin iġtil-kom is-saħħaw natikom appuntamenti juħorral pal-lunġima fil-istessin.